everyone welcome back to my channel this is Kelly from House of Virgo this is a Virgo channel only Virgo Sun Moon Rising or Venus please do hit like share and subscribe if you're new and if you're a returning subscriber hey everybody how's it going please remember these are general messages so some of them may or may not resonate so just take what fits don't try to force anything okay um, if you want to get a personal reading for me, there's a link in the description box below this video. Please know I will, uh, the last day to get personal readings with me will be December 17th, and then I will be back in January to resume, resume personal readings, okay? Also, you guys, I will be offering membership to my channel. Should be up within a few days. You'll be able to join for a monthly fee and you'll be able to join in the live streams members only to ask any questions i will pull tarot cards anything you want to know unlimited questions all right so keep your eye out for that hi everybody in the chat how's it going all right let's get started virgo see what your love messages are here virgo sun moon rising and Venus. Oh, the drama, Virgo. What is the drama for you guys? Okay. Okay, unrequited love. Booyah. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep some relationship going. Okay, stay optimistic, though, about your love life, Virgo. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. There may be chemistry coming. <laughs> okay, somebody's in school school studying some type of chemistry or bio or biology or biotech i just got that strange message just came up all right let's take a look here so virgo there's a situation here where it's like done out of the water adios mfr none of this it's not gonna happen um maybe somebody's feeling that about you or you're feeling that about them, whatever it is, there's some kind of relationship here that is just, it, it may be time to just take a step back, Virgo. Take a step back. All right, let's take a look here. Okay, there you are. Queen of Pentacles showing up in your own room, your own room, your own reading. So Virgo, you're just basically like, you're looking at your money. A lot of you are just like, okay, it's not gonna happen. Let me get back online and see who else is out there. <laughs> Let me check on my uh, social medias. Let me check my messages here. See who's showing up in my DMs. <laughs> Looking at your computer, laptop, phone. Um, some of you are just reading your emails. Um, some of you are just, you know what? Looking at your money. You're married to the money. Marrying the money. Looking at your cash flow. Let's see. Some of you are working from home and you're sitting home, you're, you're in your slippers or your shoes, I mean your slippers or just bare feet, um, and you're in your robe and you're just getting up in the morning, having your coffee, you're listening to me, some, <laughs> and then you are um, checking your bank accounts. <laughs> just doing what you got to do. Staying optimistic though, so I like that Virgo. No quitters, no quitters. Okay, one and done. If something doesn't work, you're moving on to the next. Very positive energy, staying optimistic here. So Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo energy. Okay, maybe feeling playful. Some of you feel a sense of freedom. You're like, wow, I've released myself. I've decided no longer to just keep hoping or staying stagnant or sit in a position of weight. Um, getting back out there, being festive, enjoying your holidays, enjoying the people around you. Let's see. Okay, playing with your kids, playing with little, your grandkids, really, I feel there's an energy of like, I don't know, some of you are just happy to be out of something. Okay. So we've got justice here. Hmm. Okay, this is Libra energy. So, you know what, Virgo? I need you to do me a favor. I need you to find the win-win in a situation here, okay? Don't look at things as if there's a loss. Figure out how this is a blessing for you. Figure out how you are actually in a better position. Find the gratitude, find the wins in something that is not working out, 
okay what lesson did you learn from that what what can you take from that in what way did it benefit you right and for some of you i know you got to dig real deep to try to see all that but i feel like i want to tell you that i need you to turn that frown upside upside down <laughs> For a second there, I was like, am I telling you to turn a smile downward? No. Turn the frown upside down. It's time to be joyous. You know, somebody said to me, you know, we were not put on this earth to suffer. Okay? Someone in particular already did all the suffering for us. We were put on this earth to be joyful, happy, and free. Okay? Sometimes, Virgo, it's really hard to see... Um, all the good when you're too busy on your computer, if you're looking at your computer too much, if you're stalking or you're looking to see what somebody from your past is doing, or you're sneaking up on them or looking to see who their new person is or if there is anybody new. Meanwhile, like the sun's shining, I don't even care if it's cold out. There's opportunities for play and joy. And I, I just, you know, I just kind of look at how you're just distracted. Some of you, maybe you're working too hard. You know, I feel like a thing that didn't work out was a benefit to you and you might not feel or see it this way but what's done is done like I feel like this it's a win-win for you for for those of you who have an unrequited love situation and you're just trying to stay open and positive and meet someone else and see if there's anybody else that you could possibly have good chemistry with. Sometimes, you know, chemistry is a funny thing because I feel like for some of you, you had excellent chemistry with someone, but a lack of compatibility. There might have been like a situation between the two of you where you, you guys had good conversation, you understood each other, you got along great, but there were obstacles. Well, obstacles represent compatibility. Okay, you can have all the chemistry, you know, you could be married and have chemistry with the person down the street. Uh, that doesn't mean you ought to be together. There's an obstacle. What's the obstacle, right? So it's so chemistry isn't everything. You know, your your soulmate, your your other half, um, it's it has to be a combination of chemistry. There has to be compatibility. There has to be willingness, motivation and desire to be together. Let's take a look here. Okay. So, I feel like you've been dividing your time equally between maybe your kids or family members or other people. A lot of you are really in gift giving mode at this time. Maybe that's why you're looking at your money um, or you want to be able to share the wealth or you want to be able to give back to other people or um like family members or charity, do some charity work. And I feel like if you've been thinking about that as part of like um, your, I think we just had Giving Tuesday, maybe some of you um, took advantage of that. I feel like that's really good. You did that for some of they're just telling me to tell you you did the right thing or that was the right thing to do or paying somebody back or um, paying your bills, getting everything paid off. I really feel like you guys have just kind of gone over this speed bump and now you're like getting everything back together in your life. You're sorting things out, becoming more independent. Let's take a look. I want to see, I just want to see what, why unrequited love, like what happened with someone from the past. Okay. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of sweet love messages, maybe texts, phone calls, um, but very immature energy. It feels like something just didn't go any further than that. Okay. Um, or it was just an immature energy. The person you were dealing with in the past, um, it feels like incapable. You know, children are incapable of having adult romantic relationships. So the person you were connecting with might have been quite childish in a lot of ways. I mean, sure, it was sweet and cute, and it's not like an, a horrible thing, but a lot of you, I feel, well, some of you just came to terms perhaps here with... You know, this is just not for me. A, a lot of you just decided, okay? There is chemistry. There was a strong magnetic attraction to somebody, but it wasn't enough. It wasn't strong enough, okay? For some of you, it wasn't strong enough. 
And I feel like a lot of you tried to stay optimistic about this relationship, hoping that maybe like things will eventually pan out. But I feel like with the person you were connecting with, you know, uh, they need a lot of um, reassurance, a lot of um, ego stroking in a way. Look at how this maiden is like stroking the line there. Maybe you were involved with a Leo. Um, this person needed like tremendous amount of um, petting, so to speak. And they may have reached out a lot to you uh, based out of ego. They were, you know, valid, seeking that validation. A lot of you gave it because yeah, you're Virgo. That's what you do. You know, you like to, you like to serve. But I feel um, you guys were kind of like, you know, I keep serving this tray. And every time I go back, there's less and less for me to, to bring back to the table. And I'm pretty much drained and I got nothing left. Okay. Yeah. There was possibly even deception. This person was like a thief in the night running away with your heart. Okay. Seven of swords energy. Nothing but a shit stain right there. Taking full advantage of you. Taking full advantage. Lying deceiving deception taking your love for some of you and giving it to somebody else if you know that for a fact if you know that for a fact they might have just been very flirtatious or every time they were communicating with you it gave you a feeling of you know the page of cups is that new love feeling okay um it gave you a sense of hope okay a lot of you felt like oh they're initiating or volunteering their love but it, it for some of you it just feels like maybe it didn't go any further than that there was deception here um and they were re honestly reaching out to you to have that ego stroke to get that validation to to because this person was very young and immature and needed someone to raise them up i guess parent them in a lot of ways so i feel like you guys just kind of took a cold hard look at that and moved away from that okay so we have the queen of cups here so now we have water element cancer scorpio pisces so if you were connecting with a water sign this person um, might have been more in a, f a, a feminine yin type of energy male or female very emotional um, someone who needed a lot of, of healing and support um, someone who needed a lot of nurturing okay uh, it doesn't have to be a water sign, but I feel like they presented that way. Okay, in order to bring themselves back into balance. Whoo, sounds like a little NPD going on there or something. Um, so Sagittarian energy there for some of you. But let's take a look and see if there's any new love coming in here for you, Virgo. Because I feel like you're definitely eager i don't feel like my virgos here i don't see you guys giving up i feel like you're optimistic um now let's take a look here and see if anybody new is coming in for virgo in december oh my god you have the ten of cups some type of celebration or party um, I feel like a lot of you, uh, like family stuff, uh, being around a lot of, you might meet someone through family members. Okay, look at you, Virgo. You're just like, I am ready to expand, 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 expand. I'm looking out at the horizon here to see if there's any ships passing by. I'm joyous, happy, and free. I am not letting anything keep me down. If this person is not willing to... Um, this past person is not willing to, um, or just doesn't see it's going to work out with us. Okay. I'll take the L sometimes Virgo, you got to take the L, uh, don't hang on too long. Take the L, put it to bed and, um, start, uh, the new process of getting yourself out there. Okay. Start looking out on the horizon. This is, when I look at this guy on this card, I feel like this is like looking at all the possibilities of what can be. I mean, surely this one person cannot be the only person in the entire world for you. Do you know how many billions of people there are on this, on the globe here? And it, it can't, you know, like this one person, you know, how much time are you going to be here, Virgo? How much time do you have left in your life to pine after someone when the situation is clear here 
that either they feel it's not going to work out or you feel it's not or you both feel it's not or is just calling it quits. Okay, listen, Virgo. Here's what I'm trying to tell you, okay? <laughs> Look at this. The knight, we got the knight of cups here, okay? Love is surely going to come towards you. Absolutely. I mean, there's an ass for every seat or a seat for every ass. There's no way you're going to be single forever. But let me ask you something, Virgo. If you think Prince Charming or Princess Charming, even though I don't really believe in those sayings, but if you think this person, these, these prince or princess, the one, the one is just going to land on your doorstep. I mean, I know some of you are just like, you go out there and you're sweeping your porch and you're sweeping off your, your mat and you're getting yourself all prepared and you're making your door look really pretty just in case somebody comes to your door. Nobody's coming to your freaking door, Virgo. You got to get out there. You got to go stand out there and, and look and see because you're just, you're, most of you, you are just standing there looking on the horizon, but you're not stepping foot over here. You're just daydreaming. You're just like, oh, okay, well, I'll just look online, but nobody's really taking action. This is an action card, but the only action this person here is taking is just looking. A lot of you are doing a lot of looking. You're looking for love. You're looking for love, but you're not, listen, you have to be proactive in your dating life. You have to meet people. You have to like get in the flesh. You have to go out. You have to, I don't care, social distance if you have to. Go vax up if you have to. Wear your damn mask. Who cares? You go hang out in one tree. Let your person hang out in another tree and just use, I don't know, string cups to talk to each other if you're afraid. But you got to do something. You can't just stand here, Virgo, and just look out across the water and just be like, oh, well, maybe someday that ship will come in. You know what this is? This is a guy stuck on an island and he's just waiting for that rescue. No one's coming to rescue your ass, Virgo. You got to get out there and meet people. <laughs> or else you're just going to settle for whatever comes to your door. Hey, listen, if the Amazon guy or the Amazon girl is looking good and you're, you're going to just be stagnant and say, okay, yeah, come on in. Go for it. Whatever floats your boat. But I know some of you are just like not settling, not settling. Love will come when you move, when you get out there, okay? You got to start dolling yourself up get those nice threads okay get yourself in good shape if you need to um whatever you need to do get more money in the bank get yourself look the nine of pentacles this is the virgo card male or female okay the nine of pentacles is all about luxury it's all about self-sufficiency financial gains and solo pleasures it's all about you virgo all right. Now I know some of you, listen, when I say luxury, I mean, for some of you, you know, how, whatever your dress attire is, wh whatever, most Virgos dress pretty damn hot and they are very good. Like it's all about quality threads over quantity of clothes. You know, you'd rather have quality things hanging in your closet than, um, the amount of clothes in your closet, right? Virgo, that's what you're known for. You know, you're, you're, a lot of you are trim and you're svelte and some of you are voluptuous, but you have an aura about you and you need to get back to this and stop worrying about that shit stain. That's not, you know, coming your way. You need to get your shit together, Virgo. Come on now. Yeah. Okay. So, so don't, um, you know, I feel like that's when the love is going to come. You got to make yourself available and you got to make yourself seen. I feel like I'm giving like a, a big sister, big, big sister talk here. I know a lot of you are doing that. You're doing that, but don't give up hope just because, you know, that ship hasn't come to rescue you off that single island. You know, some of you are on an island like that's not even on the damn map. You can't even find it. You're so distant and isolated. Um from love. A lot of you just, maybe you were involved with someone and there was so much deception, lies, and deceit that you can't even bring yourself to trust again. Okay. Nobody said you need to do that. Nobody said you got to meet somebody and just throw all your eggs in one basket. The only, all we're saying is like, get all the eggs in your basket for yourself. Fill up your own basket first and don't wait for somebody to come in because that's not going to, that's not how it's going to happen because the person that came into your life before, that's how they came in. They just probably showed up willy-nilly out of the blue. 
okay? And this person was probably uh, an F girl or a... Why am I censoring myself? They're probably a fuck girl or fuck boy. And Virgo, you are not the fuck boy whisperer. You are not the fuck girl whisperer, okay? You are not going to change people. You're not going to turn some player into a loyal... No, it's not going to happen. Get over yourself, Virgo. I mean, I know that you've got the gift of service and all that, but seriously, sometimes you give so much, you turn into a doormat. You need to go get that doormat that you've been sweeping and taking good care of out in front of your house, and you need to shake that shit out and throw it in the garbage. Okay. Mm. Okay. A lot of you, the chemistry that you feel sometimes with people is really lust a lot of you, uh, you you're thinking that it's something that's not be careful of this lust thing right i dare you i challenge you i challenge you to not give in right away when you meet someone virgo and i know some of you you know you don't but i challenge you to uh I, I feel like if you meet somebody here, do something different. Take a look at the, take a look at the, um, take a look at the, the the lust aspect of the relationships you get in, and that chemistry. That's when your juices are flowing. You no, know? when you give into that dopamine hit. What are the, What does what does she say? When love walks in, common sense walks out. And y'all give your bodies up and you give everything up to somebody and you're just like, oh, we're going to have this. And I am not saying that a, a, a sacred sexual union is a bad thing. It's a beautiful thing. And I'm not telling you play games, but I am telling you self-respect is more attractive than anything a woman can have. A woman that doesn't, or and even a man, um, when someone, uh, uh, it's hard to, like, I don't like to try to go male, female, but I'm looking at divine feminine and divine masculine energy when they are both leveled up to the highest highs. Um, the whole lust thing, people who are highly ascended, lust does not capture them. True love, soul-stirring love, making that deep bond connection, soul to soul, is what captures highly ascended people. People who are not ascended, they get trapped in these lustful situations, and then their lives, and then the toxicity comes in, and they get stuck. Okay, watch out for the chemistry, because you're going to always have that, Virgo. That's always going to come. Don't give in to it right away. What is chemistry? Chemistry is chemicals, chemical overload, testosterone, hormones, um, all the all the things like the you know your hormones going wild and creating that magic. Okay, um, that's what I feel like you need to be aware of, because um, a lot of you, what you're fearing about getting into a relationship, uh, yeah, you're, fe you're fearing deceived, um, you're fearing being lied to. But the thing is, once you create that physical soul tie with someone before you get to know them, now, you, now that's when you get trapped. And that's, that intimacy there, that physical intimacy, when you create that soul tie with someone that you don't even you haven't embedded and you don't even know if this person is going to be any good for you in your future, it's almost impossible to break. And you guys, tend, you, 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 you've dragged, some of you, some of you got dragged into something that you held on to the whole time knowing, knowing after however long you were together, this person is no good for you, but that's that physical intimacy, that soul tie kept you stuck. Okay. And that's the, that's the codependent acts at, uh, that's the codependent. Um, I lost the word aspect of the twin flame don't think that just because you met your twin flame that all is beautiful there are karmic twin false twin flames there are uh, codependency can show up in the twin flame union i'm actually in the process i still i keep saying it um, i'm actually just started writing my twin flame book 11 signs that you know you're in a twin flame union and i will be setting that up for um as an ebook for you guys to download okay so because i really feel like it's going to be informative and will help you out a lot um 
I just feel like you need to have your guard up in a lot of ways, right? To avoid heartbreak or third party things. Okay, so we have Capricorn energy here. There's Pisces. So some of you, there may be um, an attraction to a Capricorn or a Pisces coming in. Okay, this might be somebody new. Some of you may not have completely finished out with a past person, but you've put them on the side. Um, but a lot of you are, mm, be careful when you're hungry, Virgo. A lot of you are hungry for a lover. And when you're in that position, that's when you're going to just bite down on anything. And you got to be really careful. You got to satiate yourself first before you get involved. Because <laughs> listen, it's true about Virgos. Virgos are very, now I say this all the time and don't get it mixed up. Virgos are not sexual creatures. Virgos are sensual creatures. Virgos are all about the senses and the pleasure and the stimulation of the senses, which turns them on. Okay. Virgos are not, people mistake Virgos and they think that they're um, promiscuous or that they're players. Um, and they're, they're really not. They're very, just very sensual. They long for the senses, touch, smell, taste, uh, hearing, seeing, you know, those are the things that get a Virgo going, male or female, okay, um, that then leads to sexual pleasure, okay, but the, the sensual pleasure comes first. So be very careful. <laughs> be very careful, because I feel like you are going to meet somebody who's going to, like, give you that glow back, and you're going to be like, oh, wait a minute, you're not somebody I've ever seen before, what is this? And I feel like you need to just be... Just a little bit on your guard. Know yourself, Virgo. Know yourself. Know your actions. Know your patterns. Know your habits. That's why I feel like I was telling you about that silver lining from, from the past. There's a silver lining in a past relationship that taught you a great lesson. And if you haven't learned it, it may just be for some of you that you're not choosing to look and see what it was because you weren't ready or you're not ready to let go of a past thing. All right, what else do they want to tell you? See, that's what I'm telling you. Ace of Cups. So the universe is bringing you someone very special. Love is going to open up into your life again. And let's see. You are, listen, it's going to come as a surprise. It's going to be least expected. Do you know why? Because that's how it happens when you're busy doing you. Okay? You're getting yourself out there. You're being happy. You're, listen, cares to the wind here Virgo take very good care of yourself you know that's what you do you're resourceful you're fertile you're domesticated you're very solid practical you're a good leader some of you are really good with money some of you have been investing in your your stocks you're doing some crypto ethereum stuff <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Like you're filling up your bank account. You're filling up your closet. You know, you're working towards your goals. You're achieving goals. You're capturing and um, putting your, your, I feel like you're, some of you are working on your, your gardens somewhere. Some of you are out there, you're selling your goods, you're selling your crafts, or you're thinking about it, like you're kind of standing on the road. Some of you, hope maybe you have like a fruit or vegetable stand or something, you're standing out there and you're, you, you've got all your goods around you and you're like, you're marketing yourself. You're, it's good. It's good, 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 good. Just rebuild, Virgo. Start rebuilding. Don't get out of this here, right? Like, have your cries, grieve your grief, you know, um, but don't get yourself in such a state going forward with meeting others that you're just like, oh, I'm sad of the loss, okay? Um, don't pay attention to gossip from other people. Be careful, like, you know, if you've been partying a lot, like, don't dwell on that, just, or if you haven't had any support, you know, look behind you, there's two cups here. Okay, this is romantic love, partnership, proposal, marriage. Okay, this is two people. This is mutual. You, you have someone. It, like, like spirit wants to bring you somebody, wants to bring you love. It's coming here. 
and that like they place the cup right down there next to your cup but you're looking too much in the past this is the rear view mirror and this is the front front mirror turn this turn this shit around okay turn it around okay this is moving on forgive get your hope back recover from whatever you were going from whatever you dealt with here in the past that for some of you i hate to say it just was not meant to be and a lot of you had the red flags and you knew it but you held on because maybe you created a soul tie it may just be right now it's not meant to be okay right now it's not meant to be and you got to get out there and start living your life because why this person may very well be out there living their life and being very happy, content, and free and joyous. And you're over here letting that person rent space in your head, okay? And you are miserable as F. Enough. Okay. Fire energy here. You got a good friend, a good friend who's coming to visit you, okay? Male or female. Or you have a good friend who's maybe traveling or this person is at a distance um for some of you it could be fire it could be aquarius um but i feel like this person is bringing in some fresh hope for you absolutely this person is going to encourage you to take new chances take new paths have a new start very supportive energy this person comes across to me as being very intuitive but also very freeing um coming in to like kind of get you give you a push i feel like some of you need that push listen virgo if you get invited to any holiday parties in december go i don't care if it's like all of your brothers all of your cousins just go there's a reason for this okay just go you know i went to a wedding on saturday i barely talked to anybody i was on the damn dance floor like the whole night and I had one drink and it wasn't even like it was so watered down. I it just was like cranberry juice. But like I would I was bebopping all over the room at this wedding, chit chatting like for a quick minute with each person saying hi. You know, I was like a like a one of them one of those people on a parade float and I was like, Hey <laughs> I'm back on the dance floor, just dancing my ass off. It's the best time ever, you know? And I, I never felt like, uh, I, I guess the point I'm trying to make is like, get out there and live your life. Listen to the music, dance, be happy, be free. Okay, don't worry about making all these connections or don't worry about ha not having someone in your life at this time. Being single is not a curse. And I just kind of feel like a lot of you are in this sad place right now. You don't want something to be over. You don't want something to end, and that's fine. So just tell yourself, okay, if, well, I'm not, nothing, maybe it's not ended right now. Maybe it is. I don't know what's going on, but I know that I can't stay down. That's what you need to tell yourself, okay? Maybe later, maybe there'll be other readings where it'll come back and, and things will get sorted out with this person. But for right now, this depression, it, you're just going to sink, okay? You're going to sink. If, if you have... I, and I'm not talking about clinical depression, okay, because I don't have a degree to even qualify or say anything about that. I'm talking about just sadness, okay, and grief, right? If, if you've got very serious depression, you know, um, you probably aren't even listening to this reading. But if you are seriously depressed, I mean, this, if it helps you, to give you a little pep in your step again well hey take whatever you can get right but i i really feel like this five energy it feels like there's a lot of uncertainty in your life right now you're not really sure which way to go you're not some of you are just like well i don't know if i should end something or if i should reach out listen virgo why do you have to do anything in regards to this situation why do you feel like you have to do something? All you have to do is realign yourself to your true soul desires. That's all you have to do, okay? You have to realign yourself to, to freeing your heart 
from your pain okay this maybe you were in with someone where there was a lot of uncertainty and there was a lot of change or inconsistency you know one minute they're in the next minute they're out and then it's back and forth back and forth listen virgo if you were connecting with someone like that you know and you were confused because you didn't understand what that person was doing understand this when you're with someone and you walk away feeling confused by them, it's because that person's confused. It's not you. Because someone who's not confused, when you walk away from them, they will either leave you or you will walk away from them feeling very sure about their love for you and what you have. Or you will walk away feeling confused or you will just walk away because it's not there. Try not to overanalyze it. If you were getting mixed messages from someone or you were feeling confused, it's because that's how they were feeling. They were confused. They were mixed. They may have wanted you, but they didn't want to, you know, they wanted you only for a little bit, but they couldn't commit, you know. It's really, in, in a situation like this, I feel it's really black and white. It's like you're either here and we're, you know, you got to pick, it's like pick a lane, you know, or, you know, somebody keeps walking in the outdoor and walking out the indoor. It's very confusing behavior and you got to detach yourself from confusing behavior and get clear with yourself. And some of you just got to get a little distance from somebody here. Okay, so you can get clarity. So you can have a little bit of grieving downtime. So you can come back up again and knowing what you want. Like you only have to worry about you, Virgo. You don't have to worry about anybody else. Okay, yeah, that's your message there. Put an end to this shit and go after your ninth cup. Okay, separate yourself. That's just what I was saying with the eight of cups withdraw move on abandon the situation abandon ship some of you are sitting out here waiting for you know you're on your island waiting for this person to come back okay that person may have abandoned ship already or temporarily because this is a card of temporary separation and y'all are like oh wait i think i see them let me just get let me get let me build a raft wilson and go in the water and go chase after them no 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 and others are just like oh i'll just stand here and just let my life pass me by and i'll stand here and wait for them to come back fuck that you got shit to do girl you got shit to do guy <laughs> okay all right, so, okay, I want to tell you something. All right, some of you, you, you were dealing with someone who was very competitive with you, okay? Very competitive. They had to be number one. Um, this person could have been a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, for some. But this person, whenever they thought they, you had, there was another suitor, um, they were trying to fight that person to push him away because you were theirs. But once they got everybody else out of the picture, then they put you back up on the shelf and went out and did what they were doing. Okay. And a lot of you are like, why the hell are you fighting for me? And then once you get everybody out of the way, then you leave me, right? <laughs> it's because it's power and control. It was just a control thing, just ego. Okay. Now, some of the men, I just hear the masculines, you guys need to get out there and start like some physical activity, um, like some team sport or sparring or fighting or something like that. Maybe doing some hit or some, not hit, but maybe, yeah, I don't know, boxing or, you know, beating the shit out of other, or go play a game. Um, I don't know, some type of football or uh, some kind of game. You need to get out there and get active with your, with your, your soul tribe and get moving and you know doing that masculine thing even the females that can even go for the females as well because believe it or not there is a girl that looks like a female it could go either way you know either way ma uh, masculine and feminine all you know hustling are playing games there could be like competition maybe there's some kind of like game competition or something you guys like to do um now let me see here 
So I just feel like the message really for today and going into December, you know, when I do a message every day, the messages will hit home for some of you, okay? And then the next day, the messages will hit home for um, another group of you, right? You got to take what works for you, okay? Um, be careful of false hope. But I feel like for some of you, it's really just time to, you know, cut the cord here or just, as I said in one of my last readings, right? You don't have to actually push somebody away. When you just redirect your energy back into yourself, they automatically go on the back burner, like by default, okay? If someone's unable to meet you halfway, you got to meet yourself halfway, okay? You redirect that energy back into yourself. You don't have to tell this person, hey, I'm breaking up, hey, I'm leaving, or I'm doing this, or I'm doing that. Um, if they were never really two feet in to begin with, you don't owe anybody anything. Okay. Um, now, unless you were in some kind of legal binding marriage or contract or something, then yeah. Um, but it really just depends on your situation. You know, I mean, I've known people who, who were married and they wanted to get a divorce and they filed the papers without even telling their spouse. And lo and behold, they'd get them in the mail and just be like, whoa, like you got to be loyal and truthful to you, to thine own self be true, Virgo. Just be true to you. And I know a lot of you are like, but that's so selfish or that sounds narcissistic. No, it's not. It's called self-love. You're allowed to love yourself. You're allowed to take care of yourself. If How, how are you going to help? How can you even possibly be there for other people if you're drained and you have nothing left to give? You need replenish. That's why you need to take your time out for yourself and recharge. And I just got the weirdest feeling. Oh my gosh. It felt like someone just touched my leg. Like they like they dragged their fingers across my leg. Oh my God, that was so weird. I mean, obviously you couldn't see it or couldn't feel it, but I just felt that. Oh my gosh. That was like, it just felt like this. <sighs> wow. Weird. Okay. All right. Let me get back. Let's get back. <laughs> oh, wait. You know what? I want to pull some cards from my Moon Pie deck here. Oh, look what's at the bottom. Stand your ground, Virgo. Stand up for yourself, damn it. Stand up for yourself. Do not be that. I'm telling you right now, even if you're not being a doormat, I don't care. I want you all to go. As soon as you're done listening to this reading, go get that doormat that you have at the front, your front door and like, bring it in the house and hide it somewhere as a symbolic gesture that you're taking action. You can put it back later if you need to, but <laughs> yeah. Stand your ground. Stand up for yourself, Virgo. That's when you're most attractive. And if you have done that already, kudos to you and congratulations. And you know what? I'm very proud of you. And if you haven't done that yet, well, now it's time to start. Get busy. Committed love relationship is coming to you, Virgo. Don't you even sweat it. But I'm telling you, it's not just going to show up at your door. If you're looking for a rescue, you're going to be sitting on that island for a really long time. Go build yourself a raft and paddle your way off that island and get back home to yourself. Emotional wish will be granted. All right, Virgo, I'm telling you, you deserve so much more. You're giving, some of you are just giving others more than you should be giving to yourself. Like, I got a thing here, right, you guys? Like, this is, this is how I dole out. This is how I dole out. One for you, two for me. Two for you, three for me. Three for you for me. That's how it works. Okay. You get this. Somebody wants to come over and they want me to make them dinner. I'm going to cut up some hot dogs for them and I'm going to give them, I don't know, a little cup of ketchup and maybe a slice of bread on a paper plate. I ain't cooking no three course meals for anybody. Get the hell out of here. Now, maybe when you are, you know, somebody wants to be in a 
uh, no, I wouldn't do that anyway. <laughs> it's just I'm trying to rationalize. But honestly, like, I don't know. I'll stick something in the crock pot. There's, there's, go get a cup and a plate. Serve yourself. Like, I'm, I just don't, I don't do that. I do that for my kids. I do that for my grandbaby. Okay. Um, and, but even for my kids, like when they were little, I mean, my sons are all in their 20s. Like, I'm sorry, but I'll cook it, but you got to go serve yourself. You know? Loving older female. See, somebody is coming in, and this feels like a divine feminine is coming in to give you a hand, to give you, maybe it's me. Hey, maybe it's me. Um, coming in to give you, um, light your ass on fire and get you motivated and get you going. So watch out for her. Okay, reflect. Go into your cave for a while. You've been doing that. You need to regroup and recollect, Virgo. A lot is going on. You need some alone time. Stay in the stillness and the quiet, but don't get lost there, Virgo. Tell people, especially if this is someone from your past who may be kind of connecting with you or trying to, just tell them you're taking a vacation or you're going on a sabbatical or you're just taking a little recharge for yourself and then pull out for a little bit. And for you masculines, you need to start pulling out a lot more and a lot quicker going forward in your life. Or stop sticking it in there because that's getting you into trouble. <laughs> that lust. That lust is like lust is like angel dust. Lust is like cocaine. It's like heroin. Lust is like heroin. Moving to a safer place. Okay, some of you might be moving. Maybe you're or just mentally moving yourself to a safer place. Um, that's very six of swordy energy. So there's like um like a, a necessary transition. You're getting yourself in um because wherever you are right now, whether this is physically or mentally or emotionally, you don't feel confident or you don't you're not, or maybe you do, but not as much. Um, it, it's just an energy of getting yourself into a much safer position where you feel like you can trust yourself. Okay. Okay. Spying and deception. Listen, listen, I'm not, if you feel called out, my apologies, but I have to put it out there. Okay. Some of you moving to a safer place means you need to get off social media. You need to stop looking at your phone. You need to stop spying on somebody. Okay, you need to stop looking to see what somebody else is doing. Now, I know this isn't going to resonate for all of you. This is just going to resonate for some who are kind of in this energy. I give you a, I give you a 30 day challenge if you are on social media and you are stuck and you're having a hard time, go off the grid for 30 days. And in that 30 days, don't just sit there and twiddle your thumbs. So before you do that, find something that's going to fill in the gap, okay? Because some of you are having a hard time. You know, you, you, you stay off for a while, and then you log back in to see what's going on. You want to see what all the, the you're curious. You want to see all the cats are doing. You know, you got to log off and stay logged off, okay? Remove the app from your phone, Instagram, all everything that's out there. I know some of you are on Twitter and you're getting your news, but you're you're rationalizing it. You're justified. Just turn on the freaking television. You get all the news you want, right? Some of you need to take a social media break, and you can even Google and look online to see like how to do that. You could have somebody while you're spying on them, they're spying on you, and it doesn't necessarily mean social media either. <clears throat> some of you are going. Um, some of you are just looking up, Googling somebody's name and looking to see whatever you can find, if there's anything. I don't know. It's strange. Um, and for others, this is like going past this person's house or going past their desk at work or spying um, indirectly, asking somebody else if you've heard or how they've been, you know, spying. Uh, but you're being deceitful. You, you just got to cut that cord, Virgo. Cut that damn cord already with this person. All right, let me get your, let me get your dates. Okay, transformation. All right, somebody's name starts with a C. I also heard cat, cat, C-A-T, cat or kitty 
or Cat, Kath, Kathy, Catherine, Kathleen, Kath. Okay, C or K. Um, uh, the 16th will be an important, um, it's an important number. The 16th, 1 6. Okay. All right, we've got a we've we've got a Q, a Q. They just gave me the name Beth or Elizabeth. <laughs> I was just thinking, <laughs> like Queen Elizabeth. Maybe somebody's from England or Australia, wherever uh, wherever the Queen rules. I don't really know it well. You know, I'm in America. We don't. We don't really, that's not a common thing that we talk about out here. It's like the queen, you know. <laughs> so we don't have, we only have kings and queens and tarot card readings. We don't have them in America. <laughs> Boy, wouldn't that be something if we had kings and queens? Wow. All right, let's see. Okay. April. April. April is a very important month. Um, 15th. Okay, somebody uh, spells their name M I M is in Mary I U M I U or L I U. Uh, it, it's oh, and then I just heard me and you. Somebody says me and you instead of you and I. They say me and you. They they put me first. Oh, and then I just somebody's got a cat that's meowing. Okay. Um, okay, 1961, and then I'm hearing 1964, um, and then I'm also getting somebody is going to, and I feel like that happened yesterday. I got this yesterday. Somebody's going to text you, and they're just going to say hi, H-I. Did, did I say that yesterday? Because I'm picking that up again. Or some, or maybe you respond. You say, it's like hi, and then hi. It's very simple. Um, and then they're giving me area code four six one. I heard Zach. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. I heard Zach or Zachary. Okay. And then we have a Z pack. Somebody's ill and is taking, is on a Z pack. Or oh, antibiotics is what I hear. Antibiotics. Okay. Um, Patty, a PA. I hear P. I'm hearing that again. I heard that the other day. P and then Sherman. P. P is in Paul. P. Sherman. Like P. Sherman. Willie. P. Sherman. Uh, what was that from? Uh, oh, Nemo. Finding Nemo. I just heard it again. What is with that P. Sherman? Or maybe it's somebody's name, their first initial and their last name, Sherman. Or Sherman P. Okay. Oh. We have a D. Letter D. Um, if somebody's 42. Somebody's age 42. Letter D is 42. Okay. And then I hear Roz, Roz, R-O-Z, or R-O-S-S, -S, Ross, or R-O-S, R-O-Z. Um, okay, somebody, I'm hearing, okay, it's either 25 or 52. All right, let me get your charms. Yeah, so you guys, once the membership, I'll put an announcement in the community section, and you can join, um, you can become a member of my channel. And then you can only members only 
will be able to post in the chat the live stream okay everybody else will be able to see it but they won't be able to participate they have it's paid participation okay and i will i won't be doing these readings these will still be the way they are right here but the live q a if you join for a certain amount every month you can um, just pop in the chat, ask me as many questions as you like, and I'll pull cards. Everybody will get a chance, okay? All right, charm time. Okay. All right. Somebody getting their, uh, so I'm picking up high, high marijuana here. Something to do with marijuana leaf. Somebody smokes it or grows it or is going to make money from it or is getting um, using it medically. All right, let's see. So we have a Hamsa. All right, I'm seeing a tuxedo. Somebody's going to be in a tuxedo, maybe coming up or is in one already. I'm seeing formal wear. It doesn't have to be a tuxedo, but for some it is, but I'm, I'm picking up like formal wear, okay? For some special event, maybe New Year's, okay. All right, we've also got a crab, okay? Cancer energy for sure. Again, with the sea creatures, okay? Let me tell you something, there's a cancer. Now, some of you might be connecting with someone who's a cancer. So there's, there's a cancer energy. This person, hard on the outside, soft in the middle. But man, they've got these pinchers that they do not let go. And I feel like somebody needs to know that. Now, you might have cancer somewhere in your chart, your sun or your moon rising or Venus, okay? Um, or maybe it's your sun and you have Virgo somewhere and that's where you're listening. Pay attention to... Um, cancer uh, characteristics and behaviors. I feel like because some of you, if you've got cancer in your chart somewhere, like wherever it is, you have a tendency to grab on. You're very, very sensitive, but you have a hard shell. You don't let anybody in, but you have a tendency to like grasp on to, um, when you fall in love. Like you're like, I am not letting go. That's it. You are mine forever. And it's like really, really, do you ever try to pull the pinchers of a, a crab or a sea creature? Try to pull them apart? It's utterly impossible. You gotta smash them with a hammer. You gotta kill them. And I, I don't even think that does it. <laughs> but, and I'm not telling you to hit yourself with a hammer because if you guys do that, like seriously, don't even be on my channel because like I don't wanna be influencing people like that. All right, so there's something to do here. Maybe you're having crab, maybe somebody's got crabs, maybe your ex got crabs, or somebody's eating crabs, or you're boiling crabs, or having seafood, or somebody likes crab, crab seafood, that kind of thing, okay? Um, so something about crabs, or crab cake, or some seafood or something. We also have a starfish. Um, okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna put this out there. You see that starfish? That's what your cat's ass looks like when he backs up into your face in the morning. You're like, get that starfish out of my face. All right, so basically this feels very much, now they just gave me pinwheel, Russian roulette. Is somebody gambling? Maybe you're in Vegas, so you're going gambling. I don't know what the starfish, why that would represent that, but when I spun it, that's what it feels like. You're spinning the wheel. Or there's a pinwheel. Maybe there's a child who has a pinwheel. You're going to see one soon. You'll see a pinwheel somewhere. Now, 100% I'm picking up Florida. I am picking... I don't know if there's like casinos or anything like that in Florida. But I'm, I'm picking up Florida. Somebody lives there. Someone's going there. Someone wants to go there. Um, or there's a trip coming up. Going to Florida during the cold season. Or just visiting... Um, for the holidays, we also have Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, okay? Um, you know, Rudolph, his, Rudolph was bullied, okay? Rudolph was like, everybody gave him a hard time, Rudolph, in, this, in the story. And Rudolph just, 
he had a gift with his glowing nose to light the way for the reindeer. He was Santa's, like, headlight, <laughs> you know, um, but he was bullied, but he had a gift. He had this gift. So some of you might feel, you know, maybe you know somebody with the name Rudolph, but some of you might feel like Rudolph sometimes, like you have this incredible gift and you've been picked on in your life or people don't appreciate or they don't understand this gift you have. You know what? Shine that glowing red nose ears, Virgo, and don't you fucking worry about what anybody says about you. Don't even your exes, your past, whatever. Do you. Be happy. That's all you need to do here, okay? Because guess what? What comes around goes around. And again, again, I'm picking up that December 8th energy. Now, I believe that would be tomorrow or the day after, December 8th is a Wednesday. Something's going on on Wednesday coming up, December 8th, okay? Could be for some, it could also be the 18th. Um, we also have a poodle here. So maybe you have a poodle, uh, poodles getting their hair done. Like um, maybe somebody's like uh, a groomer, does, you know, animal grooming you're thinking about getting a poodle or doing something with your poodle there's an energy here also of like priming and um i almost said pimping <laughs> some of you are pimping yourselves out i mean hey whatever floats your boat do your thing but this is kind of like um pampering I'm, I'm feeling like pampering yourself at this time you are divinely protected somebody's getting a tattoo on the back of the hand here god willing I hope you're not in pain because I know that that's got to be extremely painful. Or there's henna. I'm feeling like somebody where like gets henna on their wrist or their hand up. Maybe there's like a, a wedding or um, that somebody's going to where there's like a henna um, for like that type of a wedding or something. Yeah. And then you've got imagine. So I'm just hearing that it's a very, oh no, they just gave me imagine dragons. They just said imagine dragons. So I don't know if that's significant for someone. I can't remember any of their songs. Um, was it, it was only, no, that's not it. Imagine Dragons. I don't know their songs. I mean, I do if I heard them, but if that resonates for you, leave a comment or something in the chat here or comment down below how the charms resonate for you. Because I really feel like, um, I just keep hearing Imagine Dragons. I don't know why. So leave whatever that song, if that's a connection to you. All right, you guys, so again, I am done. I am going to be posting in the community tab here on my channel when the membership will be available. So absolutely 100% join in. Um, you can still be a part of my channel and join in on these nightly live streams. But if you want to join in members only chat, where we, you talk to me privately. You can talk to me in there. I will be absolutely live pulling cards. We'll be chatting um, and I'll be doing it very often. It's not just when I'm uploading these videos, but also um, showing up maybe at the most three days a week if I'm able to do it at the most, okay? Probably I'm not gonna start that until after the holidays because holidays are gonna be crazy busy and I'm sorry, but I'm kicking my heels up in the holidays. I wanna go have fun. I love you guys, but I love being around my family and friends and um, you know, whomever else and having a good time. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I'm gonna leave that there. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe on the way out. And um, I'll see you all tomorrow. All right, love ya, bye.